Hello and welcome to Keeping It Real. I'm David Grossman. It's great to be here on Sunday morning. It's Remembrance Day, everybody, and oh my, I almost forgot, and boy, did I take a beating for that one. But we did start, it's 11.02, so we took some time out here in the studio. We took two minutes at 11 o'clock, and, uh, and we gave some thought to, uh, to the people who gave their lives uh, uh, over the years here from Canada and, uh, and from World War I. I'm just going to take a, a moment to, uh, to read this. Uh, Remembrance Day marks the anniversary of the official end of World War I hostilities. On November the 11th, 1918, World War I was a massive conflict played out over the whole globe, but particularly in Europe, where troops from Canada supported the Allied forces. So we take a moment uh, today uh, and at 11 o'clock today to, uh, to remember those who've, who've given their life and who are still fighting overseas for freedom and for Canada. Uh, we have a very exciting show for you today. I'm really excited. Um, we've, we've got some great guests here in the studio. It's our first time doing a show on a Sunday. Uh, I have with me first up uh, is Dr. Daniel Rad. Uh, here's a man who I've known for a long time. Uh, I'm going to call him a healer. I don't know if he would use that word. We, we've, he's got a number of titles and a, and a very long list of credentials. Um, but uh, we're going to talk to him today, especially about finding effective solutions to resolve business and financial issues caused by physical, emotional, and physiological illness. I know that's a topic we could probably spend a very long time speaking about, but he will be here again next month and the month after. So um, I'm sure we're going to learn a lot, and I'm very happy to have uh, Dr. Rad uh, being here on the show. Uh, also, we have with us today, we have Harry Stinson. Uh, he's in the studio with us. Many of, of you will have heard the name or know of Harry Stinson's work. Uh, I think he's, uh, he's, a, he's a revolutionary in the... Um, uh, development industry in some of the projects that he's worked on here in Toronto, the, the candy factory lofts, and in others. Uh, he has really made a name for himself and I think had a serious effect on the market itself, on the way we live and see condos with lofts and, and different things. And he's still cooking. He's got some projects he's working on in Hamilton. So we're going to talk to him a little bit about his career and some of his current projects that he's working on in Hamilton. Finally, we also have Gene Meandro from Lighthouse Inspections, who's come in despite recently having surgery on his ankle. He's here in the studio. He's brought his son. He's brought his infrared gun. And we're going to talk to him and learn some things about inspecting homes and expect, inspecting buildings and why it is you need to have an inspector who has the latest available technology, including an infrared gun. You know, he's got it here, and hopefully he's not going to shoot anybody with it. But uh, in, any in any case, let's, uh, let's start off with uh, Dr. Rad. Um, Dr. Rad... Uh, you know, I've known you from another show where I used to talk about mortgages and things, and you've been in the public eye, and you have helped so many people I know uh, over the years. Tell us a, a bit about your practice, the kinds of things that you do to help people. Uh, my uh, medical background, I'm MD, general surgeon from Europe, Italy, and we call that MDS International. I'm trained in... Uh, many different alternative medical field. And as you said, people, they can go to my website, curesallergy.com, and see my medical credentials. Now, the reason I say, because I believe I am very sophisticated in medicine. My medical background backs me up in order to put a really nice, precise diagnosis. And when diagnosis is okay, then we find out uh, solution and treatment, and then prognosis. So I am trained in uh, many uh, medical fields, and one of them is the first one I'm trained is uh, a TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, and acupuncture therapy. I became doctorate in this field before I become MD. Now, uh, then here, here we go, I start to learn more and more because I realized that just uh, being graduated from medical school uh, doesn't solve most of the problems. And I was telling to my patient that, yeah, you are sleeping very well at home, telling that, okay, hospital is there and doctors are there, surgery room is there, so I'm fine. But you don't know that 
uh, they are there just for emergency case if you couldn't do anything. But what you can do is uh, you can be your own doctor. Find out who you are, what you are, what are you doing, how, is, how are you thinking, and what are your problems in your life. I say that if you do a self-evaluation to mm -hmm. see uh, personally, physically, financially, emotionally, politically, sexually, whatever you name, then you can find your own problems. And when you find your own problems, you are the first person who can help yourself very well. So you really believe in a holistic approach. I mean, you started off, you know, you are a medical doctor. Yes. But you have a very unconventional practice. Yeah, very unconventional practice associated with conventional practice, based on conventional practice. In medical field, we see human being as a, let's say, uh, I'm sorry my word, as a, a, let's say, machine, as a car, let's say. And each part of this car, when it has problem, the doctor of car, who is called mechanic, will find out, just replace it or fix it and put it back. Doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the part of the car. Mm -hmm. But he will tell you that if you, we don't do this part change and replace, in future may affect other parts and so on. Final, finally, you have to put your car in junkyard. But we cannot put human being in junkyard. So we have to take uh, a look at the human being as a whole. In right. other words, my heart is working to keep alive my stomach. My stomach is working to keep alive my kidney and so, so on. So everything's connected, including All emotions and our thoughts. Yeah. Emotions and thoughts, uh, let's say uh, we talk about conscious mind, unconscious mind, mind in body, mind-body relationship. Most of people, they talk about it and they believe it, but they don't know how to practice it. They don't know how to use it. And one of the mysteries that human being doesn't know or does know, but not that good enough to keep the person uh, successful in business by uh, any means in life, personal life, and so on, is they don't know how to use that powerhouse that is located in their body, in their mind. And when I ask, where is mine? Nobody can say where is mine. Powerhouse meaning your mind? Mind, yeah. Unconscious mind, which is powerhouse. Powerhouse is a unconscious mind, is a, a let's say, superpower, creativity, intuition, uh, let's say, yeah, all these stuff sitting so there. Live, as a, they, it's like people living on the surface. They, they live on the surface. They don't know how to use that. And our unconscious mind is... Uh, sophisticated center to give us all informations, all solutions, all answers to our problems and, and, and questions. But we don't know how to use it. The reason I uh, like to be here today, and uh, you are in mm -hmm. real estate business and money, financial, whatever. We see if you ask somebody, how are you doing? Hmm, I don't know. I have to, I am, business is not doing well. Income is not that good enough. I remember I was, doing some uh, seminar, I asked, okay, one of the spiritual practice was this, to breaking the board and uh, going through breaking the limiting life and fear and worries and so on. Breaking the board like with the mm, yeah, karate, with hand, chop, karate right? chop. And one of the guys uh, wrote down, I like to be able to pay my bills. So mm -hmm. that was really a, a sad uh, signal for me. How lower-minded could be this guy mm -hmm. thinking about how to, peel the, how to pay the bill? Doesn't think about how to make money to peel the, pay the right. bill and uh, overhead. He was just thinking about how to pay the bill. Now, this is the way most of people, they think. I remember I had a patient 16, 17 years ago, real estate agent. I have many, many real estate agents, patients, they come to me. And he was telling that uh, business is not doing well, I cannot do sales and so on. And I look at him, I say, John, that's not you. I know many of you. And at least I see on the road, I go home and back, for, back and forth to mm -hmm. office. Today, sign is there, the day after is sold. What are you talking about? Right. So... But anyway, uh, I went back and investigated his past medical, past emotional history, was related to many traumas, negative emotional traumas, psychological traumas, negative thoughts and beliefs was holding him behind.
So this is message to all real estate agents. You know, David, I do business counseling. I do family counseling, family issues. I do person to person. And meantime, I do alternative medicine. Now, I will talk at the end about what is the alternative medicine specifically. Please remind me. Uh, then I uh, advise him to come to do negative emotional release treatment, which is based on energy medicine. It's not psychology, it's not psychotherapy, it's nothing related to this. This technique specifically is uh, having a patient to have access to his own uh, softwares, to his own database, and uh, find out the main reasons that limiting life and uh, beliefs uh, factors and then guiding the patient to release them, let go. So it's not a talk therapy? No, it's not talk therapy based on energy medicine, quantum physics. This is the, one of the um, subjects, one of the way I work in medicine is called energy medicine. So in two, three hours of treatment, he became not just emotionally positive, and in next three months, he didn't have time to come for treatment. When I call, normally I follow up, I call them, John, where are you, why are you not coming? Doctor, I'm so busy, I cannot come. Thank you for your help. Business is doing great. Now, just I want to say, David, that you know very well, negative thoughts, negative beliefs, uh, negative thinkings, normally they uh, block, they are limiting life factors. Mm -hmm. I cannot do, business is not doing well. We call that suggestion and auto-suggestion. Uh, auto if you think negative, right away you are saving, not knowingly, you are saving the same statement in your database. An unconscious mind, which is database, normally when has time, most of the time has time to, time to run the negative program, right. to start to run the negative programs. Put in mind something negative, drive from here, I guarantee you will have the same problem. Sooner or later, depends how, how deep, how intense you are thinking about it. Keep it positive. If you keep positive, think positive, you will see all positive comes in. Right. Even using uh, words like swearing and using uh, damn or such, all of them, they are auto-suggestion. When you get angry to somebody, you, somebody makes you sad, it doesn't mean that he made you sad. That means you allow yourself first to get sad, mm -hmm. okay? Thinking about how are you doing? Oh, I'm not doing well. Today I had headache. Right. So why you had headache? I don't know. Who has to know? Somebody must know who got headache. You, you are the first person you have to know. Because you allow yourself. You open the venue, you open the, the ways that Mr. Headache come in and sit in your head or such a problem. Now... Uh, this is very important. Uh, f in future, we will have really good business relationship in order to make the people to be very successful in their life. Now, here we put down that how uh, to resolve Resolving business and business financial, and financial issues, issues caused by physical, emotional, and psychological problems. Put it this way, if somebody big businessman, very successful businessman gets uh, involved in car accident and gets some problem, cannot go to work. Okay, here we go. One big problem, cannot go to work. Second, the pain and worries about what will happen, about the prognosis, will keep his mind busy and take the mind away from business. So business will be affected. Okay, right. now... It's not just physical, when we talk physical bone and joint and, and muscle, physical means anything mass that we can touch. Somebody has heart problems, somebody has liver problems, somebody has thyroid problem, and for each of them there is some negative thoughts and beliefs. I always say Zelda knows that there is no any disease, David. There and is by no, Zelda you're talking about this radio show that you've uh, been Every day I have five every minutes day for, uh, for last 16 for years. 16 yeah. years yeah. I say there is no any disease, illness, symptom, syndrome, which is not created, which is not initiated, which is not supported by negative thoughts and negative beliefs or negative emotional traumas. Negative emotional trauma is applied on people 
who we are. We are one, I am one of the people. If I open my negative gaze, all negativity will come. We are in, we are in connection with the universe, with superpower, and superpower called super unconscious mind. We have our unconscious mind relation with unconscious, super unconscious mind. If we uh, meditate and we think properly, creativity starts to work. Put the right question, one-way question, no doubt, no ifs, no maybes, mm -hmm. no mights, a straightforward question, and just take 10 minutes, 15 minutes time every single day, ask question, the same question, answer is there, solution is there, very well. Now, psychological problems caused by any means. We are human being in toxic enemies. enemies. Mm -hmm. We are, yeah, psychological problems. Right. They are uh, the most toxic material that we are uh, we are digesting. Mm -hmm. We are eating and digesting mentally. If somebody is depressed, angry, mad, or sad, or whatever you name it, for sure is affecting the uh, the business. If Mr. John was not afraid of fathers and uh, teachers and yeah. bullies in past and feeling low self-confident, losing the confidence and self-creativity was uh, was uh, crossed off, erased by all those uh, negativities, cannot make up his mind, cannot decide, even in right right way, may go wrong. So yeah, no, it's. Tr I mean, I've recently met somebody who. Um, you know, I've seen the quality of their work, and uh, they're just so bright, so intelligent, but they're just so mixed up with certain psychological fears and phobias, it seems, that their life is being held back by, you know, a huge amount. We are designed, uh, you know what, the, the architecture or engineer who designed human being uh, was, is, will be, uh, the most number one designer and builder. And uh, we go, when I study, when I think about physiology, psychology, and communication system, nervous system, and how our organs work, how mind is working, is really amazing. Nobody can do that. If somebody could, would, up to now. But there is nothing. This is, that's, uh, one, how do you call it, ownership of uh, creativity, which is belonging to our superpower God, or ourself, we can say, uh, is very interesting. But the problem with human being is negative thoughts and negative beliefs. Mm -hmm. And the way uh, parents, teachers, olders, elderly, uh, who, how they are programming young guys, young, young people, from childhood up to whatever. I have patients, they come from UFT. I have doctors, they are, they are coming from big shot uh, hospitals. Mm -hmm. They are having psychological problems, right. they are sick. So why when we go down, they find out, yes, they have gone through severe negative emotional traumas, it's still the kind of fear and worries of failing and losing by any means is there. Right, right. Well, I mean, Dr. Rad, I've, I've been to see you myself a number of years ago, and, and uh, it, was, it was a pretty incredible experience, and I know that uh, I've, I've heard many of the testimonials of people on, on the Zelda show, and I, they may still be on your website, that uh, people, you know, you've, you've helped people overcome incredible problems. So if, if you're watching the show and anything you've heard um, rings a bell of familiarity, be sure to uh, give Dr. Rad a call. His number's uh, on the screen, 535-8034. The website, curesallergy.com. Lots of great information on the website. Be sure to give him a call. Thank you very much, uh, Thank Dr. You, Rad. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, we're going to take a very short break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to Harry Stinson. Hang in there.